Memorial Stadium in Kansas. The Sooners taking the field at 6-1, ranked number 14 in the country. And ready to take on Kansas, looking for its first win and looking for a big upset in front of this homecoming crowd. As we say welcome inside, Joe Davis, Brady Quinn, his giant spider. <laughs> to get the 106th meeting in a series that dates back to 1903 start. It's a short kick that Ross takes from the town with the music still pumping. And Alex Ross pulls it across the 35. Over those last two games, wins against Kansas State and Texas Tech. Mayfield to throw. One on one down the sideline, and Sterling Shepard adjusted to pull it in against Brandon Stewart. 43 yards and a heck of a start for Oklahoma. With one on one coverage outside, defensive coordinator Clint Bowen for Kansas talked about not wanting to allow Samaje Piran and Joe Mixon to get going in the running game. He wants Baker Mayfield to beat him with his arm. Jayhawks begin from their own 20. They start off with a downhill run for DeAndre Mann. And he gets only one, Charles Tapper. Draw play. And Mann couldn't get going. They went deep on the first play of the first possession. And Mayfield hits the seam and gets the first down across the 30. Run for close to 200 yards total on the season. Fakes to P. Ryan off his back foot, down the chute, wide open man. It's Joe Mixon, and the freshman is in for a touchdown from 69 yards. It's not just P. Ryan, a two-headed monster in that OU backfield. Looking short side, taking his eyes down and going down. Gets sacked by Charles Tapper. On third down, they bring heat. Mayfield gets rid of it and finds Mark Andrews. On time and on target for 15 and an Oklahoma first down. In Riley's first year as Yale coordinator. On second down, big hole for Pirine. And Samaje Pirine gallops his way inside the 15. Smithson with a tackle after 36 yards. They fake it to Ross. Zipped into the end zone for a Duran Neal touchdown. Fitting this ball in to Duran Neal. Number 30, Tevin Shaw was underneath. And really it was the speed of Neal beating him out of the cut. They are against a team like Oklahoma. Got to win special teams. Can't have penalties. Sterling Shepard has the reception. His second of the day and 13 yards in Oklahoma first down. That's been a big issue for Kansas. About half of Oklahoma State's yards came after missed tackles last week. Mayfield scans the field and zips a bullet for a first down. Mayfield back in there. On second down. And they get the edge. Mixon inside the 10, running through a defender. P. Ryan with a key block and a gain of 17. And what about the unselfishness by Samaje P. Ryan? Watch him come out and set a block to help get the edge for Joe Mixon. They don't need to fold back. They'll both be in there at the same time and share responsibilities. Mayfield in zone, leaping grab, Sterling Shepard. Touchdown, Oklahoma. This is just a demonstration of Sterling Shepard's athletic ability. They spread out the Kansas defense. They find the matchup they like on number 30, Tevin Shaw. Kansas trying to get it going offensively now. Fake the man. Outside, another ball that had a chance to be caught. It was jarred loose by Dakota Austin, making the start for the injured Zach Sanchez. Empty set for Ryan Willis. Against a four-man rush, has it knocked down. Charles Walker is having a really solid season. The defensive tackle spot batted it away. Third down and six for Oklahoma. They bring five. He double clutches and finds Shepard for a first down. Armstrong's put on some size since he arrived this summer. The staff fired up about him. Mayfield, beautiful pull read. 
spins his way for close to a first down. You know, he said he developed some of that ability to get away while he was running the scout team. Mixon steps outside, and Joe Dineen pulls him down, but not before he gets a first down. Corner blitz shown from the far side, and they bring it. Mayfield trying to beat it. Wide open, Shepard, another Oklahoma first down. And a monster first half for Sterling Shepard. Over 100 yards on his seventh reception. Mayfield with a straight drop. First read was taken away, so then he went down the sideline for D.D. Westbrook. You see him coming from the right side of your screen. Mayfield does a good job putting the ball where D.D. Westbrook could handle it. They bring it with Shaw. It's picked up. There he is. Shepard's got it, but quickly belted by Bates. There's Gerard Neal one-on-one -on -one in the slot. They've worked to him a number of times as well. Only a four-man rush on the slant. It's Westbrook. Strong hands for an Oklahoma first down, beating Marnez Ogletree. Gerard Neal's going to clear it out for D.D. Westbrook and watch him come underneath. This is just pure speed and quickness by D.D. Westbrook. It's what makes Oklahoma's offense so tough to match up against. When you talk about the running game and the passing game. Said strong hands, really strong helmet. Pinned it against his face mask to bring it in. They get it in his hands quickly, and Westbrook explodes inside the five. It's first down in goal, Oklahoma. But Sam Grant, an offensive lineman, changed his jersey to wear 85. That was Grant. Here's Pirine. Reaching into the end zone for the Oklahoma touchdown. Why try to get too cute when he got some Maje Pirine to go downhill? The guy that will step into the quarterbacking role with JT Barrett suspended at least one week, they say at this point. This ball is returnable for Shadler, who can't get it back to the 20. It says Oklahoma backed into its own end. Trying to pound away with Pirine. Look out, Samaje Pirine takes it across the 25 and delivers a blow to Brandon Stewart. It's him again, it's a big hole again, opened up by that offensive line, like we talked about, different year last year, different offensive line that he's running behind this year. Mark Andrews across the 40. And a pickup of eight. It's odd today. We've seen two catches and no touchdowns for him. Jarvis Baxter making a man miss. Juking Marquise Roberts, getting a first down inside the 35. Big 12's leader in solo tackles is number nine in blue. Again, Westbrook pinballing his way across the 30. And hit the upright from 31 earlier today. From 46. Got it. One of the top kickers in the country as a freshman. Baker Mayfield so efficient today. These kinds of throws help that cause. Sterling Shepard breaking it to the outside. And pulled down by Fish Smithson with a flag down after 23 yards, likely a face mask. <laughs> Mayfield wants Shepard inside the five, reaching for the end zone. They mark him down before the ball came out. Or the other thing you do is just throw it to Sterling yeah. Shepard every single time you have the football. <laughs> and again, matched up on Fish Smithson, who's a, a great safety coming up and making a tackle. But look at this view from the blimp. Absolutely gorgeous. And inside of a half minute left in this first half. And Pirine. Finishes it off with an Oklahoma touchdown. His second of the day. Sooners show pressure and bring four. It still gets through and Willis gets decked. Charles Tapper, his second sack of the day, third and long. You're part of this defense that's been dominant in October. A third and long, they run a draw and it goes nowhere. Matt Diamond. It was their first on DeAndre Mann. Dominique Alexander finished him off. Punt team comes out. First drive of the second half begins from the 33. And it begins with a Mayfield throw on the speed out. Sterling Shepard thrown down by Michael Glatzik. 11th catch of the day for the senior. At some point, you got to get up in his face playing man to man. Mix it. 
Uh, tripped up by Glatzik, back-to-back -back tackles. First down, 46-yard line, play action, double move, down the sideline and back shoulder, D.D. Westbrook. Just beautiful execution. D.D. Westbrook's going to slant and go. There's the slant part, now he's going to release outside. Baker Mayfield sees that a defender Ogletree's on top, so he throws it right on his back shoulder on an absolute line. Second down, quick throw into the short side. Westbrook, close to a first down. You don't take as much of a beating over the course of your college career. You're sharing those carries. Here's Mixon, cut back, inside the five, towards the goal line, and down inside the one. Mayfield play action, end zone, touchdown for the big man, Sam Grant, who's an offensive lineman that now and then will throw on that eligible 85 uniform and get himself a touchdown. It's not just tough to come to practice to the games, but even go into class. I want these guys to remember what they're playing for. All right, Chris, good stuff. Man goes for short gain on first down, and the ball comes out. Oklahoma's got it. Stephen Parker recovers it for the Sooners. And the going gets more difficult for KU. And there's Stephen Parker, Johnny on the spot. And recover the fumble the recruiting battle and bring talent to players here to Lawrence, Kansas. Drive starts inside the 20, and Knight pulls it. It's clipped down inside the 15-yard line by Tevin Shaw. Second and five, Knight to throw it. Mark Andrews, first down. Came into the game, five touchdowns on 10 catches. For both Trevor Knight, Baker Mayfield. It's Knight on a quarterback sneak. Second effort gets him in. Touchdown, Oklahoma. It's Knight's first touchdown of the year. At least with a science, we had an exact way of calculating it. It's a big collision. Frank Shannon with a form tackle, driving Keon Kinner to the ground. Second down. Listen to the sound of this hit between Kinner and Shannon. Oh. Low man wins. Shannon's able to get underneath the pads, even though him moving around a wide receiver because of his athleticism and the progress of Ryan Willis. Picked up the pressure for a moment, but then Charles Tepper fought through, got his third sack of the day, and forced a fumble recovered by Eric Stryker. What a day for Big 91. Well, this is the performance they've been looking for all year long out of Charles Tapper. He's going to be coming off the bottom of your screen. He comes inside versus Brian Peters, who's had a bit of a rough day versus Tapper. Knight feels the pressure and takes off. Big block delivered by Jeffrey Mead. I uh, may have gotten that shoulder up and around, above the shoulder area, up around the neck and head. Yeah, he does seem to make contact with the helmet, so that would warrant the flag. No swing out on third down. My ball was snagged out of the air by Jarvis Baxter as he baits the tackle. First down. Second down, Knight to the outside on time, right into the hands of Andrews. Who moves down to the 12? Mark Andrews. Went to North Shore High School. Hodgson on for this field goal, and he clanks it off the upright and through. Taylor Cox hit at the backfield and dropped by Dominique Alexander. You know, Jenny, I'm sure you've heard this, but weird stuff happens in Lubbock. How about Lubbock <laughs> Halloween? I mean, how many weirder spots? 24-17 in a game that Texas really handled it the entire way. And it'll be interesting to see down the stretch here. Since 2012. Taylor Cox, short of the first down. You came here last year when TCU came to Kansas yeah. and struggled. Cox powering forward. Not sure that he got it. Stryker and Alexander 
sandwiched him inside the 20. And he is. So Oklahoma takes over on downs with 13.05 left in this one. Who found him and really helped save his life. Alex Ross, look out. He can fly. And Ross is run down inside the 30. 53 yards for Alex Ross and an Oklahoma first down. And we're starting to see the run game wear down the defense for Kansas. Alex Ross with that burst out of the backfield. All he needs is a window. Hmm. If when if he comes back, if Kansas does some of that. Keon Kenner wrestled down from behind by Charles Walker. You're looking at like a 22 or 23 of 31 day. Pressure out of the secondary helps it get home. P.L. Lindley combining with Khalil Houghton. One of the true freshmen getting time in the Oklahoma secondary. Fourth down. Yeah, number eight's going to be coming off the edge. Ryan Willis does not ever see this with his eyes to the right side of the field. This is moving Stephen Parker, who was the nickelback, back to free safety and putting William Johnson into that nickelback position. Ross for eight on first down. Second down and two. Ross again for first down. Trying to break the 60 point mark for the second week in a row. They had 63 against Texas Tech last week. And Grant Bothan, who is mostly known as the holder for this Oklahoma team, has the reception and a pickup of 15 yards. Then responded to offensive coordinator Lincoln Riley. They could have not bought into his system at Oklahoma, but they opened themselves up to allowing this offense to take shape. That ball is caught. Touchdown. And that is Trevor Knight to his brother Connor Knight for the score. What a moment. Not too many people will remember the touchdown that made it 61 to 7. It's a different level, it's a different speed of, of play. And as Ryan Willis goes down with a sack, but we'll see how he handles it. If you look at who they're going to have to go through, if they are going to finish the season undefeated with Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, TCU, tipped into the air and incomplete. And down the sideline for Darius Crawley, fourth down and 11. He's back there. Somewhere there he is you think that uh, they keep doing what they're doing as Cody Thomas checks in a quarterback the, He'll be there in New York in December as a Heisman finalist So he's done a tremendous job of really implementing all these guys into the offense We just saw a stat eight different wide receivers have caught the football Ross has a first down so easier opponents Not quite the competition. We've seen them have to face the past few weeks 62-7, Oklahoma takes care of business. 11th consecutive win against Kansas, going back to 97. Texas and Iowa State from Ames on the other side of this break.